Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has apologized to Turkey for the killings of nine people on board the Gaza-bound aid flotilla nearly three years ago. On May 30, 2010, Israeli commandos raided the Mavi Marmara in international waters, killing nine Turkish activists, include one, including one U.S. citizen. President Obama brokered Netanyahu's apology for the attack, which the Israeli leader made Friday at the very end of Obama's first presidential visit to Israel. In a phone call to the Turkish Prime Minister Erdogan, Netanyahu apologized for, quote, any errors that could have led to the loss of life. Erdogan said the apology was one step toward normalizing relations between Israel and Turkey. Israel murdered nine of our citizens in international waters. They tried to find different excuses. They even tried to use American and European negotiators to repair the relations. We told them that there would be no normalization of relations unless they apologized, paid compensation, and lift the embargo on Palestine. All Turkish opposition parties mocked the government for believing that this would happen. But it has happened. The phone call was a step forward. Israel did not agree to Turkey's call to end the blockade of Gaza. Roughly a day after President Obama left Israel, Israeli police raided a Palestinian protest camp on the outskirts of Jerusalem. Protesters had erected the camp last Wednesday within the E-1 settlement zone, which bisects the West Bank and cuts Palestinians off from their land. More than 200 Israeli officers leveled the camp before dawn Sunday. Palestinian lawmaker Mustafa Barghouti said he and four others were arrested. An earlier encampment on the same site was dismantled by Israeli forces in January. Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard-hitting, in-depth reporting.